Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for another edition of our favorite segment, Ask the Sheriff for this time, a new recruit. We are so excited. Saginaw County Sheriff William Feddersfield is right here in the studio with us. Sheriff, hello. Hello, good morning. I'm so excited to see you. You are the first live in-studio guest in over a year because of the pandemic. I'm proud to be you're here. You're special. It's great. Well, thank you. And you're so popular oh, and you're so goodness. busy, so we're so happy that you're here taking the time Thanks. to talk with us. Okay, today we're going to get to know the sheriff. First, viewers want to know, how did you get involved with law enforcement? You know, I grew up here in Saginaw, and uh, I'm an east side kid, Maplewood and Weber, and uh, since I was four years old, I've wanted to be a police officer, even though no one in my family was a police officer. Wow. So I believe it was a, a calling from the good Lord above. That's the only way I can explain it. And you've been, how long have you been sheriff? I've been sheriff, I'm in my 13th year. I've wow. been a police officer for 34 years. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Now, looking ahead, what are some of, of your goals and initiatives for Saginaw County? Well, obviously, one of the focuses we're yeah. looking at right now is reducing the violence, yes. and especially here in the city. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's very important because as the city goes, the county goes. So we're working with our partners, and I had a meeting just this week with the city police chief and the right. mayor and with state police and yeah. all the partners at the uh, Saginaw Future and the Community Foundation. Everyone's pulling together, yes. and we're working on trying to figure out ways to reduce this crime and to get this community yeah. safe. I mean, we've been working at it for years and we've seen it ebb and flow. Sure. So obviously crime is always paramount. Yeah. It's at the top of my list on how to prevent it. And it's an uptick right now. Yes, so definitely that's important. Now we hear a lot <laughs> about how important it is for the community and police to work together. And I know mm -hmm. just being here in Saginaw and the community, I see firsthand how much that you take that to heart and make it a priority for yourself. So what are some of your plans to keep promoting community engagement, Sheriff? Just getting out with the people. Yeah. I, mean, I work directly for you. I work for 200,000 residents, yes. and uh, I'm I'm happy about that. That's what makes my job actually easy because yeah. I know what people want. Not everybody can agree on specific things, yeah. but everybody wants to be safe, and they want to make sure their kids are safe, and when they go to church, they're safe, and all those things. So working out, staying in the community, working with a program that is near and dear to my heart called Bridge the Gap, where yeah. we meet with kids throughout the community of all age groups, and they get to know us, we get to know them, and the, the whole premise of Bridge the Gap is yeah. to bridge that divide, if yes. you will, or the gap between law enforcement and the community, especially in the inner city. Mm -hmm. And I've seen great strides being taken as we move forward with meeting with these kids and uh, making new friends. And when kids see you, the police officers out there and they're out there, I've seen some even just like stopping on the side of the street playing basketball with them or whatever, yeah. and they just love it. It really makes a difference. They do. And uh, I'm not a basketball player. Yeah. I mean, you can just look at me and say, well, you they do can't. it all, though. You but I will all. say this, and this is uh, there is video somewhere to yeah. prove it. I went to Saigon High two years ago, and we were talking to the whole high school, and we got out on the floor. <laughs> I'm in full uniform, and I kid you not, what? I hit a three point shot. And Stop I, it. Yes, and the kids just went wild, and I said, This is what it's all about. Now, I'll never make that shot again. But it's there, I'll have to bring it for you. So, you know, the viewers out there oh are saying there is goodness. no way that sheriff made it, but. We have to look in our TV5 vault for that. I Do might you? might be there. Okay, might be there. okay, you have to look for that too, sheriff. I need to see that. <laughs> so we always love to have fun and end a question of yeah. something interesting. So sheriff, we wanna know something about you that would surprise viewers out there. Hmm. Well, I'm in a band. <gasps> yes, what? I'm in a band. Yep, I have a band. I've had a band for quite a few years, and I like to sing and play music. Yes. And so that's my only hobby. I don't okay. hunt, I don't fish, I don't golf, I don't tan. I mean, I try all those things, yeah. but uh, music is really my passion. And so uh, I love Creative and smart and athletic yeah. and all of this. Sheriff, you're going to have to come back on Ask the Sheriff and play for us, right? I'd love to. You I'd love to. He said it right Absolutely. here. We've got it. Yes. That was so much fun getting to know you. Thank you so much. The man behind the badge is just as awesome and amazing as he is for you, working for you in the community. Thank you again, Sheriff. You're welcome. We appreciate you Great coming here. Good. And we will be back. You will be back, he said, right? To I'll play. come back anytime. Okay. We love it. Thank you. Now it's your turn. If you have a burning question for the Sheriff, send it to WNEM at WNEM.com or send it to our social media. Stick with us. TV5 News at 9 returns after the break. <laughs> 